this question is an easy to medium GMAT problem solving practice question from arithmetic mean averages statistics is a topic from which this is tested. The arithmetic mean of five consecutive integers starting with S is A. Okay. What is the arithmetic mean of nine consecutive integers that start with S plus two? The answers have been in terms of S and A is what has been given. The quickest way to solve this question is basically assuming a value for one of these things, right? We are starting five consecutive integers with S. So assume a value for S. The quickest and the easiest value to assume for S is equal to one. So set one, what do we have? Five consecutive positive integers starting with one. One, two, three, four, five. What's the average of these five numbers? These are all in an arithmetic progression. So the middle number is the arithmetic mean. But even if you had not known that one plus two, three, three plus three, six, 10, 15, 15 by five is equal to three. So this is our average. If S is equal to one, if S is equal to one, then the average A is equal to three is what we have. What does set two tell us? Set two, basically we're going to look at nine consecutive integers starting with S plus two. We have assumed S to be a 1. Therefore, S plus 2 is going to be a 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 11. Right? So these are the 9 numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. We want the average of these 9 numbers. Again, these are all in an arithmetic progression. The middle number is going to be the average. Leave these 4 here. Leave these 4 here. So this is going to be your average. Alternatively, if you did not know this, let's just add it up and find out 7, 12, 18, 25, 33, 42, 52, 52 plus 11 is equal to 63, 63 by 9 is equal to 7. Now let's check out what do we have, right? So 7 is the average of these numbers, average of these numbers is equal to 7. 7 expressed in terms of S, let's say, is going to be S plus 6. 7 expressed in terms of A a is equal to 3. So this is going to be equal to a plus 4. Right. Let's check out if anything else given in the answer options matches one of these two. Otherwise, let's basically plug in s is equal to 1, a is equal to uh, 3 into that and check out which gives us an answer which is equal to 7. Let's take a look at it. The answer options are basically, hey, I have a 4 plus a, a plus 4. Choice e is the correct answer. Right. One of these two I was looking for. I got an a plus 4. a plus 4 choice e is the correct answer to this question. So quickest way to solve some of these questions is basically, you know, okay, this is the rule that they have defined for what s and a should be. Assume a value for s and then work from there. You'll get the answer in the quickest possible time. 